The headline of this report is, The clean energy economy globally continues to grow. We know that investors really believe that this is the future. With this sector of the economy growing so rapidly globally, we're finding that countries are really jockeying for leadership. And unfortunately, the news of this report shows that the U.S. competitive position in the emerging global clean energy economy is slipping year after year. We've gone from leading to being number two last year, and this year we have found that the United States is a distant third. Now we not only trail China, but we also trail Germany. China has been able to attract $54.4 billion in private investment in the last year alone, rocketing them to the front of the pack, and they are, by all stretches of the imagination, the world's clean energy superpower at the moment. Germany has increased by 100 percent its private investment in the clean energy economy. They now have attracted $41.2 billion in the last year alone. Why? Because they have ambitious renewable energy policy targets that have attracted investors. Germany and China are the leading exporters of wind turbines and solar panels. Here in the United States, what we found with energy policy is it's very uncertain subsidies one year, stimulus one year, not the next. And what that means for us is we have a lot of capital sitting on the sidelines. We're failing to innovate, we're failing to manufacture, we're failing to export. We don't want to see those clean energy jobs and manufacturing opportunities go overseas. We need for Congress and the President to work together to craft and to forge a clean energy policy that really sets a goal for where we want to go. We'd like to see clean energy treated the same way traditional energy has, coal or oil even. Business as usual will never help us compete more effectively in the global clean energy economy. We can lead the clean energy revolution, and we need to. It's a gigantic emerging economic opportunity.